Hello, it's Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 17-year-old male who has a fracture of the radius here distally. This is the radial diaphysis. On the lateral view, they had some bone displacement, and they're having some pain in the wrist as well, and they wanted to do an MRI of the wrist to make sure nothing was going on there. So on the wrist, we do see there's marrow edema in the radius here. This is the ulna looking nice and low in signal, nice low signal in all the other bones, so there's no carpal fracture. The metacarpal bases look good, just the radius has marrow edema, which we'd expect. They had a strain here, the pronator quadratus muscle. A little bit of fluid in the joint, but there's one other finding. So it's related to the triangular fiber cartilage. So this is the radius. Here's the end of it. This is the ulna. And above the ulna, and coming off the radius, we see this horizontal band, which is the triangular fiber cartilage. It's like a little meniscus or shock absorber between the carpal bones here and distal ulna. And here, this is the central portion. It looks absolutely beautiful. So this is the what we call the central disc, the middle of it here. If we go towards the dorsal side, we see this band here. This is called the dorsal band. They get blend together, and it's really hard to tell them apart. And if we go towards the palmar side, and we're going down towards the palmar side, we see the palmar band over here. And the palmar band looks pretty decent. And if we go even further out towards the ulnar aspect, we should see two more attachments. One attaches to the ulnar styloid and we really have a hard time seeing the ulnar styloid on this view but it's right here there's the ulnar styloid we just don't see the tfcc coming down here and attaching nicely so they have a torn attachment to the ulnar styloid again here's the styloid and then here's the tfcc coming out here and up here is the styloid attachment this part should be attaching down here so the tfcc is drifted distally and also another attachment should be down in a little groove here right medial to the or sorry, um, towards the radial aspect of the ulnar styloid, there's a little area right here called the fovea, and so this TFC should attach down here. So the styloid and foveal attachments of the TFC are torn here and here, and it's drifted distally. And now you can kind of imagine this oblique brightness here, this abnormal signal. So this is the torn TFCC distally. And in this patient, they also have an abnormality down here. This looks like the palmar radial ulnar ligament. These can kind of blend together. The, uh, the palmar band of the TFCC and these radial ulnar ligaments can be really hard to separate, but it looks like down here this fogginess is a partial tear of that palmar radial ulnar ligament. But in the end, they have this fractured radius, no other fracture of the carpal bones, but they do have a tear of the triangular fiber cartilage involving the styloid and foveal attachments, and it's drifted distally. So these are really good things for the surgeon to know um, to treat them properly. Thank you very much.